Hello and welcome back to another video. If you don't know me, my name is Oko and I'm an illustrator from the UK, but today I'm trying something a bit different. I am trying a new hobby and I wanted to share it with you. It involves, if you know, Lydidus Pet Shops. This is the custom I'll be painting in this video and it's my first ever try. So let's get into it. So, I have ordered some mystery LPS. I think I would have explained in an intro before this what I'm planning to do with them and they finally arrived so let's open them together I'm so excited to see I have no clue I know that they will be um I know obviously they're little the shops and I know there will be 24 but I don't know what ones oh my god I'm so excited The only thing I <laughs> I did request a cow and it looks like they've put a cow in so now I'm really excited. We have a hedgehog who I'm not sure if his neck plug is kind of broken a bit or if that is how he's meant to be. I'll have to look it up and see but he's really cute. I like him. We've got this dog, actually quite cute, could do something really nice with this one. Again, slightly, kind of like stands a bit wonky, but that's okay. Oh my god, I didn't even know that there were bats, I've never seen a bat base before. This is adorable. I'm very excited to do something with that one. Then we have maybe a cat or is this a puppy? I'm not really sure, but it's cute. <laughs> They're all like pretty like pretty good like this one's got some dents and a bit of a scuff, but they're pretty good condition I'd say. Okay, this one's a puppy. That is really cute. I need to pay attention to where I'm putting them on the camera. <laughs> um, see, I'm starting to wonder if these are official or if these are fakes. Um, because their head has like this kind of ring on it. Like it's been cut. And then none of the heads bobble. Well, they they bobble but slightly anyway this is the cow that i was really excited for but to be honest I, I, I don't mind if they're fake because i can still use them i can just file these pieces down they do look quite fake though because i've got um like for example this is an authentic one bobble is a lot better and does not have any of these pieces on the bottom of the head we will see. Anyway, it's cute and they'll be good for customs, so I don't mind too much because I'm planning to custom them. And it's my first custom, so I'm probably going to mess them up anyway. I'm really happy with these and I now need to plan what I want to do with them. The cow I'm going to make look like my mascot, Tara, who I've got a business card here. This is Tara. She's my little mascot. Um, so I wanted to custom this one to look like Tara and then to then I can have it like on, a, on my market stalls as a little mascot for myself I think that would be really cute so I'm really excited to do that so that will be one of them but I don't want to do that one first in case I mess it up because I only have one cow so I need to think about what else I want to do but I'm very excited I ordered some metal nail files so now I can file off that little lip on their heads and see if that works well
coming in with a little voiceover here. So as you can see, I filed down the like lip on the neck and that actually worked really well. I'm really happy with that. I'm just glad that I could get rid of it because it didn't look very good at the start. And so these are definitely fake LPS. Um, I bought them from an eBay seller who I will mention in the description so that you can avoid this seller unless I mean maybe you're looking for fakes, I'm not sure. But yeah, I would say avoid this seller. I did get a refund on them because they were advertised as genuine but were fake. Um, but yeah, so I would say avoid this seller. So for this base coat, I'm just using, I bought some really cheap acrylics because even though as an artist I own many paints but I primarily like to work with gouache paints I find them really satisfying and I didn't know if gouache would be okay for doing custom so if anyone's ever tried doing that let me know in the comments because I want to know if that would work well but I just bought some cheap acrylics because I didn't know if I was gonna enjoy slash be good at doing the customs so I just bought some really cheap acrylics to start with so that I could use those and I do think I added too much water for this base coat. I've since realized that taking it more with a dry brush would be a better way to do it. But I'm happy with how these have turned out. And yeah, so I'll just let you enjoy this for a little bit. I might hop in with another voiceover later in the video. So the base coat took me a while to do because I put too much water in the paint and also because of the paint I was using I've since actually bought some better white acrylic and it only takes me like two coats to cover it nicely with a base coat um, but this one took me about three slash four maybe five or six coats on the eyes and darker areas and you can see it's still not like completely covered um, it also kind of feels a bit sticky even when the paint's dry because I just think because of the quality of the paint not very good um, but actually since then when I finished painting and I used Mod Podge to seal the paint it then gets rid of all the stickiness so I'm at least happy with that um, but yeah so here I'm starting to paint on the pink onto my cow custom um, and I actually had a lot of fun with this I was a bit nervous painting on like the splotches and everything um, but you know it wasn't too much pressure because I basically had white on the base anyway so if I messed up I could just cover it up easily and it wouldn't have been much of a problem um, so I think I did about two coats onto each like color here that I've done and I'm so happy with how it looks especially around the eye and the snout I think those are the parts that I think look especially cute but I'm very happy with it. And also you'll see here that I was also working alongside this one with a couple of extra ones at the same time. I was starting to make my She-Ra pony and the Catra cat that I was making from She-Ra. Um, I decided to do that because I'm an impatient person. And so while I was waiting for one to dry, I was so tempted to just carry on working on it, but I knew I needed to let it dry. But I wanted to paint so bad, so I just started working on the next one as I did it. So while I was waiting for the cow to dry, I started painting the base coat on the next one, and etc, etc. Because I was too impatient to wait, and I didn't want to mess it up, so I did it that way instead. And I like to work on multiple at once now, I think that's a nice way for me to work, because then I can still be in the painting groove and not ruin anything. But yeah, I hope you're enjoying this so far. Okay, so I kind of forgot to film slash needed my reference picture, so didn't film um, for a while. But I finished the Tara, um, oh, uh, the Tara LPS custom. And I'm really happy with how it turned out, but I need to do the glazing on it and everything. But there's the back. I think it's really cute. And I'm now working on my Catra one. 
which you saw me painting the base for. I've tried doing the stripes, but you can't really see them. I think the colour's too close to the base colour, so I need to change that. But I think it's really cool, and I did my first sculpting, so I've actually sculpted the headpiece on for Catra now, and I've sculpted the sword and the headpiece for Shira. And I'm also doing a Kuzgo as Llama, um, and I've sculpted on the hair for him, and started painting some of the body colour. Ignore this mess, I'm going to cover that up. Uh, and then the last one that I've been working on at the minute is I'm turning this into a Squishmallow Daxon who has a bucket hat, if you know that Squishmallow, it's an alien with a bucket hat. Um, I'll put a picture in or something here. Um, but yeah. So that's going to look like that one. So I'm working on quite a few at the minute, just kind of at the same time while I'm waiting for one to dry and working on another one. So yeah, that's how it's going so far. If you've made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. I'm going to do the like grand reveal of my customs so far, and then I'm going to show you some that I've been working on that I haven't really shown in this video. So first up is Tara. Um, I'm actually going to spin the camera around and do it the other way. Okay, so I've turned my mascot Tara into this cute strawberry cow, and I sealed it with Mod Podge and then used high gloss Liquitex on the eyes and I love how it looks, it's really cute. I think for a first try, I'm really happy with this. Then the second one I did is Catra in cat form from She-Ra um, and I sculpted on this clay piece on the head and this one had sticker eyes so I did struggle a bit with the eyes but I'm happy with how they ended up and let's do a little 360 here. So I'm really happy with how the stripes ended up looking and yeah I think the paint's really nice and smooth I'm very happy with this one overall and then the last one that I was showing in this video was Cusco as the llama when he gets turned into the llama so I'm really happy with this one I think the colors turned out perfectly the hair the sculpting I'm really happy with so I think as well for one of my first ones very cool very happy with it and then some progress on ones that I've not really shown in this video. I'm doing Adora as a cat. Um, so this one's nearly done now. And I'm so happy with how her outfit has turned out. I'm just, I love this one so much. I think it's definitely my best yet. And then I'm also working on Shimura, but as a pony. And so this one I've just got left to do the eyes and the colors on the sword. Um, but again, really happy with this one, and it was a bit more of a detailed sculpting with the sword, so I'm super happy with how this looks. Nearly done. And then I've done my first head swap with a doll. And the legs are missing currently, that's a design of the doll, I took them off to paint. Um, but I've swapped it with a bat, LPS head, I'll put a picture in over here next to it of what it looked like before, like the two separate dolls. Um, but I'm really happy, I'm very excited to work on this one some more. So yeah. So I really hope you've enjoyed this video, thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it. If you want to see more behind the scenes on my customs and things, I'm also doing some painting streams on my Twitch, so if you want to check that out, the link will be below, and as always, I post a bunch of behind the scenes on my Patreon as well, so also check that out if you're interested. This month's theme is unicorns and dragons, and I'm really happy with how the sticker sheet turned out. So sign up before the end of October to get those rewards. And that is everything. So thank you so much. I'll see you in the next one, which will be a studio vlog back to our normal schedule. <laughs> thank you so much. Bye.